Hi, welcome back to the workshop for episode three of the Firebird Tenor Uke build, aka the Fire Chick. And in this episode, we're going to start work on one of the central parts of the build, and that's the fretboard. Okay, and having got the neck kind of roughed out in the last episode a few weeks ago, I'm now going to turn my attention to the fretboard. And just like the full size build, I'm going to make it out of a nice piece of Wayne Gay, which of course is way, way too big and way, way too thick. So we need to do some work on there. But before we can do that, I actually need to establish some dimensions for it because I don't have a fret scale ruler that I would normally use in this kind of thing in a tenor uke size. So I'm going to have to do this one with measurements. And the only thing I've got to establish those measurements from are my other little tenor uke. So that is what we will use. And at this stage of the game, it doesn't need to be anything kind of too accurate. We'll cut a fairly well oversized blank and work it down from there. So realistically, if I cut a piece of this Wenge down 70 mil, and it needs to be about 320-ish mil long, and then I can resaw that down. to about six millimeters. So we'll just get that to the bandsaw and start getting it broken down. Okay, so that's that ripped down. Just needs a little bit of cleaning up now with a hand plane just to get that surface a little bit smoother. I must remember not to run my fingers up and down this too much because this Wayne gate is terribly, terribly splintery. In terms of thickness, that's about seven and a half mil. So there's a little bit of extra material on there so we can afford to kind of lose a little bit by planing it down. Okay, so that's all planed kind of down to thickness now. It's about six and a half mil, so there's a little bit of room to play with on there. And I've also planed one nice square straight edge on it. I've only managed to get one splinter, so not doing too bad so far. So next up, we need to just do some quick measurements to see how much material we actually need to play with. And we'll just get those off the other uke. So if we go about 320 mil, I'm going to add another 20 onto that because there's a little bit of unevenness on this end here, which I'll need to trim off. So if I go at about 340 mil, and square that across, and then we just need to find kind of roughly the center of that. So that's about 72 mil, it's quite consistent. So just set the marking gauge up to about 36 millimeters. This blank is actually way, way oversized, so. As long as this line is parallel to the edge, the positioning of it isn't massively important. You might be wondering why I've put that in with a marking gauge and won't that leave a line in the finished fingerboard. It's handy to do it with a marking gauge because it means it's there for the duration of the work on this. And 
it is very important that we use that center line once we start to get the radius into this and sanding dot markers and stuff like that in we will lose that line it will go away so it's not a massive problem and then i'll just get this ready and whip this excess off Okay, so the next step on this is to lay out these frets. And as I mentioned before, I haven't got a, a ruler for this, so I'm gonna have to kind of just lay them out by hand. So I've bought up the fret position calculator on the Stumac website, and I've checked those positions against the neck on the other uke, and they're kind of where they need to be. So I know I've got the scale length that I need, which is great. So to start off with, I'm just going to fasten my steel rule onto this blank. If anyone's interested, so far I've got four Wenge splinters in my hands, so that's coming along a treat. <coughs> and yes, they do hurt. And I'm just putting this on with some super glue and masking tape just so to be absolutely 100% certain that it's not going to move at all. Now I've cut my initial slot in, which is going to be my nut line. And then I'm just going to position that rule up to that and against my center line. And from here, I can just work my way down the fretboard, just putting in a little knife nick where I need the fret center to go. This is gonna be quite a fiddly little task because obviously none of these are kind of exact, you know, 24 millimeters, 26 millimeters. They're all 24.235 or something like that. So we're gonna to have to do some rounding and kind of get it as close as we can with the naked eye. But I'm pretty sure we can get this accurate enough that we'll get something that plays in tune.
Okay, so there's all the fret slots cut in. That's gone really quite well. I'm, I'm quite happy with that. I've been down and I've checked them with a square and they are kind of all well within tolerance for what we need. And it's also worth bearing in mind that we're probably only going to use kind of the middle third of most of this board. So any kind of slight inconsistency will be kind of much reduced because we're not working over the full width of this. So happy days as far as that's concerned. I think the next step is I'm going to put some position markers in this. However, I'm going to leave that till the next episode. I think we've done quite enough for this one. So I'll be back in about a week's time when we can get that done. Until then, smash that like button if you've enjoyed this. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I'll look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.